Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for January 12th, 2017. Um, welcome back to everyone who's been here before um, and thank you for joining me again and welcome to all of you who are new. Um, and so this is um, a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time um, for us to be able to see what the energies are and how we can use them for our highest good. And so it's not so much a predictive reading in as much as it is um, looking at the potential that we have to work with, um, but it will still be up to us um, in how we want to use these energies. Or not. <laughs> um, okay, so we're looking at January 12th, and um, today is a full moon. Full moon and cancer happening, so uh, you may have felt the energy already leading up to the full moon if you're sensitive to, to the phases of the moon um, and if not you may experience it today feeling perhaps a little bit more emotional than usual or in a, in a heightened emotional state maybe nervous maybe unsure maybe melancholic um, and so it's a full moon is a time for release um, it's a, a time to allow for conclusions to happen for things coming to a conclusion a culmination so that then they can be released in making room for um, new energies, new events, new situations in our lives. So it's a good time to reflect um, and then identify what it is that needs to end or what it is that has ended and perhaps we haven't released it yet. And so during a full moon, um, it's, it's almost like um, light shines very brightly on things that we need to address or things that we need to release they just pop into our heads and it's the only thing that we can think about perhaps it probably uh, happens differently for people but just to give you an example of how these energies could um, influence or, or, or affect us um, and so um, definitely a time to reflect and release uh, particularly in um, the field of emotions of how you feel of your feeling feelings of um, security comfort maybe something around the home maybe something around the family maybe something around uh, love life um, that needs to be looked at because it needs to come to a conclusion and to be released okay so that's just a side note um, for today and now let's look at the tarot cards that we have here and the oracle card so first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation is the hanging man or the hanged man. So with the hanged man, this could talk about the net or the previous couple of days or it could go back further. Um, and so it talks about a time of being in limbo or a time of being in suspense or things being up in the air, maybe feeling a little bit disconnected, um, maybe having trouble processing things or focusing or... Um, making decisions or making changes, maybe dealing with a lot of delays, maybe dealing with obstacles, with things not being within our own control. And so the hangman shows up to tell us, you know, there's no point in fighting this. There's not a lot that you can do about this particular situation. Instead, you're encouraged to use this time to reflect, to observe what happens, what is going on, um, to allow for answers to come to you as opposed to struggling to find answers or struggling to find the answers that you want to find, that you want to see, that you want to receive, as opposed to the answers, they're the true answers that you need to know and, and um, um, situations uh, similar to that. The hangman is a time of calm, a time of just sitting back, being a little bit passive, and either, you know, you're sitting back in terms of you're not doing much physically, you're not doing much around the house, you're not going out a lot, or um, things like that, or um, your mind is elsewhere. So you're going through the motions, but your mind is elsewhere. You feel more um, daydreaming, uh, or you meditate more, or your mind kind of runs away um, to, you know, distant thoughts, distant memories, possibilities, that sort of thing. And so it is a time for reflection um, and for looking for enlightenment, but it's more allowing it to come to you. Okay, You do what you can to look for enlightenment. You do, 
and you don't you know sit there and just wait for answers to come your way uh, if no one knows that you're looking for answers okay so you kind of do what you can um, and then there comes a time with the hangman where you have to wait for things to come together or you have to wait for uh, answers to come to you you have to wait for enlightenment to come to you with the hangman the energy for today is the five of wands so the five of wands is an energy that talks about um, dynamism change okay because it is a number five dynamism challenge with positive challenge constructive challenges okay things that help us grow as opposed to tear us down um, the five of wands can also represent our inner life where we struggle or we feel turmoil or we are restless um, and it can also show up in terms of fighting different sides of ourselves like a conflict between our minds and our hearts or what we know we should be doing and what we actually uh, want to be doing or what we know we should be doing but we choose to kind of run away from it so kind of different aspects of ourselves um, either play fighting or trying to get each other to work together that sort of thing but it's dynamic energy it's things changing or things starting to move after the hangman so with the hangman this is enlightenment that has come to us very recently or again it could go further back it really depends what this talks about for you um, so we have the enlightenment we've received the answers and now with the five of wands it's almost like we're applying the answers and we're starting to create change or we're jumping on the bandwagon because change was trying to happen already but maybe we were fighting it and so that's our answer we understood that we're fighting something that is actually good for us and so we jumped um, on the bandwagon so to speak um, but things are changing things are moving forward things are very dynamic at this time we may still be dealing with a little bit of restless energy but it feels more like you're not restless because you can't control things you're restless because you're eager eager to uh, start doing things you're eager to create you're eager to change you're eager to see where the path that you're walking on leads you okay especially if you have changed paths or if you have uh, gone through changes within and with the hangman it is definitely talk about talking about our inner uh, life okay our um, our self our identity um, what we feel what we believe in how we relate to the world what dreams we have what goals we have so on and so forth and the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the wheel of fortune and so with the wheel of fortune it talks about cycles ending and new cycles beginning so it could be you know with the full moon that one cycle is ending we release something and end that cycle and then we open up to new beginnings and we start a different cycle we start perhaps a better cycle or an easier cycle for ourselves um, the wheel of fortune uh, is a major kind of card and so we have the hanging man as our first card a major kind of card the change that happens because of the enlightenment and then the wheel of fortune is the bigger change that happens the five of wands talks about personal change talks about change on an individual level within okay and the wheel of fortune is a major arcana talking about karmic change talking about change of scenery talking about uh, turning someone's life around um, changing careers changing where you live changing your whole social uh, circles uh, your goals your dreams that sort of thing um, that comes up under the energy of the wheel of fortune and this is blessed change so it's almost like we needed this piece of information or whatever enlightenment um, represents for you we needed the enlightenment to trigger the inner change to take us to the bigger change okay is kind of the message for today and our guidance card is number 41 and it's actually a card that talks about identity the self defining the self and it's a number 41 and 41 is 5 so we're talking about change changes within okay changing how we see ourselves 
So in the card you see that there are a lot of different angles uh, to look at one's, oneself, okay? A lot of different possibilities. We wear different masks, not necessarily in a bad way. We are different people for different people. We are different people in different circumstances, okay? Uh, what is needed of us changes who we are, perhaps, because we adapt. If someone needs our help, then we become that person's guardian or protector or savior. And then when we need help, we are in the position of, um, you know, someone who needs support, someone who needs a helping hand, someone who needs uh, guidance. And so we become the student. We try searching for answers, searching for support, for someone else to come in to help us. And so we take on a different role. We have a different face on. We have a different mask on. We are perhaps, we are a child and we are seen in one way. And then we are a parent. We are seen in a different way there. Uh, we are a partner. We have a different mask for that. Uh, we are a different person when we are on our own. We are someone's friend. We have a different face for that. All this happening at the same time. Okay, and so the review that we're doing and the release that we are uh, encouraged to go through has to do with the self, has to do with how we define who we are, okay? And releasing, uh, perhaps releasing masks that we don't really need to use, like when we're trying to impress someone or when we are people pleasers, uh, when we try so hard to make sure that everyone likes us or make sure that everyone is taken care of, but we don't really look uh, to ourselves to see what we need, what we need to be happy, what we need to be taken care of, uh, how we feel about things, okay? Pain that we may be carrying with us, that could be a mask, okay? When someone says something and it triggers memories for us and we just completely change who we are in a few seconds, because now we remember and maybe it's not so pleasant. And so we experience pain, we experience that trauma, we relive it. You can see it in our face, you can see it in our body language. So we change completely. So what is it um, for you in the realm of emotions, feelings, identity that needs to be looked at and changed Something needs to be released, something needs to be let go of. Whether it is pain, whether it is a bad memory, uh, and you know, we're finally just making peace with it and then releasing that pain. Whether it is an old way of seeing yourself, maybe you love yourself more now. Or maybe you find out that you're supposed to love yourself more. You didn't even know you had that issue. We've done a lot of learning that we've had to go through. It's not necessarily something we looked for, um, but it's something that we had to go through. With the hangman, it's almost like someone sat us in a chair and we didn't really have a choice but to look at the screen in front of us um, at all the memories or past, present, future, or uh, different events that we were a part of different situations that we were a part of our thoughts our feelings and it's almost like um, someone just played that movie for us and we had no choice but to watch it and take away things from it understand things from it and that's the kind of energy that the hangman talks about um, in this situation at least and so what do we do with this information it's time to do some spring cleaning it's time to release old views old masks old ways of being. Maybe we have outgrown them. Maybe we have changed around, uh, changed along the way and uh, our circumstances change and so we don't need to keep those masks around. Maybe it's a mask, uh, it's one of the masks is that of the warrior, someone who's always on guard, someone who is always ready to defend themselves because they've been through something that has taught them you need to be on your feet and pay attention and probably defend yourself at all times. But maybe, thankfully, things have changed and you don't need to keep that mask with you. You don't need to keep that energy with you. Maybe it's time to release that. So it can be anything, really. Um, I want you to take away the message of the reading if 
you know, maybe the examples don't necessarily pertain to you or apply to you. But take away the message and then try to apply it. If you feel that, you know, it speaks to you, if you feel like it rings some bells for you, try to apply it and see what it shows you, okay? Um, but it's a beautiful time for applying what we've learned, releasing, changing, embracing change, putting things to an end, um, particularly in the realm of self, identity, emotions, feelings, how we see ourselves and how we see the world. And we're headed towards the Wheel of Fortune energy where we're starting a new cycle, new karmic cycles. Um, and you know, when we learn our karmic lesson, the cycles that are ending have been very difficult. And the cycles that are beginning after we've learned those lessons are a lot easier, a lot more positive, more constructive. And so that's what I feel that we are guided towards. And so it's just a natural phase to shed the things, the energies, emotions, pain um, that we don't need to bring with us into the new situations or actually we shouldn't bring with us into these new situations because it would just corrupt them. So that's our message for today. I hope that it makes sense and I hope that it helps. Um, thank you very much uh, for joining me and um, apparently I'm not done with the message. <laughs> what feels comfortable to you? You need to feel comfortable within your own skin. Okay, that's kind of a conclusion here um, that is coming through. So for us, it's about comfort. It's about feeling comfortable. It's about feeling secure. It's about feeling at peace and feeling happy. Okay, so what is it that needs to be released in order for us to have comfort and security within ourselves and then around us? Okay, I think I'm done now. <laughs> uh, so thank you for joining me. I hope the message helps you. Um, uh, the monthlies are up, so check those out. And um, I'm going to be posting the weeklies. Um, I'm probably, I'm not sure if I will be able to post um, love scopes for this month. Maybe I'll do like a mi mid-month um, type of read for the second half of the month. I'll try to do that. Um, but I will start to work on the February uh, general scopes and love scopes so that you have them nice and early. Uh, so thank you again for joining me and thank you again for all your support. Um, and I hope that we all have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.